What is up my Moon Tribe? I am Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Virgo for the month of July 2020. So take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because it's specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gotten pulled your cards off camera like always for you Virgo, so let's get right into it. You got the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So right off the bat, I feel like you are trying to put in the work with somebody that is maybe in the past had left you out feeling in the cold. I feel like you're specifically putting work in with a group of people. Alright, I'm hearing a different storyline. I feel like you have been left out in the cold, and I feel like you and your people are working together with you to reestablish that feeling of security and dominance with inside of yourself, trying to get you your power back. I, I see this as, um, I kind of see this as a helping card, um, but it does represent working together with more than one person. So I think that you have your friends that are going to be here for you during this time, but I do think that you are going through some sort of depression in the month of July, something that would have made you feel emotionally impoverished or financially impoverished. I feel like something came in to take something from you, and it is going to kind of level you out a little bit as far as depression goes. But I see your friends working together with you to make sure that this isn't as bad as you think it's going to be because it's not your friends I feel like your supporters whoever it is even if it, it could be your boyfriend relationship it doesn't matter who it is that you're working together with they are going to make you feel in fucking incredibly strong because the Queen of Wands is the outcome and the Queen of Wands to me represents somebody stepping back into a, a, a reign of power so if you had been knocked down before if you had been um, experiencing loss or hardship or depression the queen of wands to me is somebody that kicks right back in with a fucking full i don't know what the metaphor i was going to use there was but i didn't have it but the the queen of wands is somebody that really steps back into a power if you have been knocked down you're getting the fuck back up and you're doing so in a large way it's saying like hey this shit hurts this shit really fucking hurt and it could have even been in the past I see you recollecting yourself with the help of friends and stepping back into your line of fu your reign of power, line of fire. I see you stepping back into your reign of power and I see you really being like, listen, I'm the breadwinner, I'm making the rules, I get to decide what goes where, I am a breadwinner, I am a leader, nobody is going to knock my power for shit. I am the one that gets to decide where I want things to go and I am going to lead my life with fire, with passion, and excitement. And I feel like that is the main overcurring theme for you in July, is getting your power back from whatever it was that had left you either financially impoverished, emotionally impoverished. You have your support here. You are working on it diligently. It is going to be fruitful for you, Virgo. I'm so glad to see that here for you. I love you, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe.